Hi there, this is Talisa Brown and you're watching our second edition of Fuse News. Today we're going to talk about round brushing. Now the hottest length right now is the long bob or the lob. And the two most popular ways to style that would be to round brush it or to curl it with loose kind of beachy waves. So today we're going to go over round brushing. The biggest things to remember when you're round brushing the hair is number one, the size of the round brush. So if you want bigger, more voluminous hair like I have, then you're going to go with a larger round brush. If you want sort of tighter um, curls and not much or as much, sorry, volume, then you're going to go with a smaller round brush. The other key things to remember are what styling products are you going to be using in your hair. We have Milkshake, which is a leave-in conditioner. Living in Calgary, we need as much moisture as we can get. Um, I have naturally curly hair, so I'm going to need kind of a heavy smoothing blow-dry cream. Joico has the K-Pak Smoothing Balm, which is excellent. Lastly, we're going to have the K-Pak Color Therapy Styling Oil. Now, between the two of them, um, they're going to add intense shine and, again, kind of help get rid of as much frizz as curly hair tends to get when you're blow drying it. Then we have our Aerogel, which is a great hairspray to use. It has lots of hold and helps tame flyaways. So I think one of the biggest questions we get asked is how much product to put in and how to distribute it. So starting with the leave-in conditioner, I'm just going to put a little tiny bit, maybe about a golf ball size amount in my hand, right? And then I'm going to put it in throughout my hair, making sure to evenly saturate it throughout my hair. This is what's adding the conditioner, so I want to make sure to get it everywhere, okay? My next two products, I'm actually going to combine. So that would be our K-Pak Smoothing Balm and again our K-Pak Color Therapy Oil. Now you can see how much smoothing balm I've used in my hand. Okay, probably about a loony size amount. And then I'm going to go two pumps of the K-Pak Color uh, Therapy Styling Oil. And I'm really going to break the product down in my hand so I don't get clumps in my hair. And again, really making sure I get the even distribution throughout my whole head. And in through my ends. Okay. So I'm going to start in the front because that is my shortest um, amount of hair here. This is kind of grown out fringe here. So wherever your hair is the shortest, you want to blow dry first. My hair, of course, again, is naturally curly, so I want to make sure that I can get that area as smooth as possible. So now that my fringe is dry, I'm going to proceed to the back of my head. Now keep in mind, as I'm blow drying, I'm going to be blow drying the root area of my hair first, then proceeding to the ends, where I'm going to be twisting my round brush a little bit to get full tension and get those ends as smooth as possible. So we're going to continue, like I said, working our way up in about one inch or an inch and a half sections until we get to the top. So as we proceed into the final top section, I'm going to take this all in one big section and work backwards until I get from the back to the front of the head. And again, we're going to do a little bit of smaller sections from here, maybe um, three quarter inch section. Now with all um, round brushing, you tend to get some flyaways. So a trick for that is to get your aerosol bottle of your spray out, spray your hair, and then use the bottle to smooth them down. And that's your perfectly blow-dried, voluminous, long bob.